Yo, what's up guys? My name is AFC Adino and welcome to another video. Like I said on my Discord uh, server, uh, this week I have my test week for my studies. And last week I was dealing with a lot of deadlines for certain assignments. So I was really busy and uh, we'll probably still be busy for a while. Um, but regardless, I'll still have a BVB battle for you guys. But yeah, looking at my opponent's team i got a game against eric 66 really scary team um i do have to keep my alec exam at max hp to deal with the azumarill but i really love lucario in this game since he doesn't really have a good switch um but looking at his team i kind of want to lead off with scissor i think he will lead off with rotom and that gives me a u-turn he does bring out his rotom and Looking at his team, also doesn't really have a good scissor switch in, so he might actually stay in and go for raw hydro pump just to get some damage off. That's what I would do probably. But still, I'm just going to go for the U-turn. And since Lucario threatens his whole team, I'll just go Lucario. But he actually goes for the hydro pump. And I do get the U-turn off, but that doesn't do that much. But that's really it. That's a really defensive Rotom. I don't think Lucario will knock it out from here with the, with the close combat. And I also don't want to take damage. This is rough. This, this is really rough. Um, he is probably going to go for the Volt Switch. Because if he misses Hydro Pump while I attack, that could be really bad for him. But I also don't want to predict the Hydro Pump with Slowbro. He does go for it. Oh man. How should we play this? I think going guard jump is probably my best play. Um he should live hydro pump, but he will most likely still go for the volt switch. He does make that play. That would that would put me in a really good position. And if he goes for hydro pump, he can still miss. So I'll bring in my guard jump. Let's see what he does. Okay, nice. He goes for the Volt Switch. So we made the right call there. And I'm going to go for the Dragon Claw. Because I need some damage off on this thing. To put it in close combat range. He goes for Hydro Pump. But now I should live this. Wait, he crit. Oh, okay. I still lived. Uh, unfortunately, he crit me there. But I'll get out my Stout Rocks now. Because I don't want to give him the opportunity to outplay me here. Because if I click Dragon Claw on his Azumarill Switch. That would put me in a really bad position. And if I clicked Earthquake while he stays in, it could also be really bad. So I'm going for Stealth Rocks. And if he knocks me out, I'll probably uh, keep my Stealth Rocks up. Because Rotom is his only potential debugger on his team. Yeah, I got my Rocks and he stays in. Goes from he goes for the Hydro Pump. Uh, would, would have been really good for me if he missed there. But I guess that's fine. Now I'm able to bring in my Lucario. And like I said, he doesn't really have a switch for this. So I'll just click close combat and something is going to die or takes a lot of damage. He decides to sack his Rotom there. So that means his Defogger is gone. And that also means my Stealth Rocks are going to stay on the field. So Garchomp basically did his job. Now the Heatran comes in. And that is actually really strange because normally... Lucario is always faster than Heatran. Even if he's max speed, timid, and I'm adamant. Uh, Lucario still has more speed. But this kind of tells me this Heatran is most likely Joy Scarfed. Um, how do we want to play this? Because Lucario is way too important to risk. Uh, to risk staying in here. And hoping he's not Scarfed. If you're making a play like this, kind of tells me he's Scarfed. Because he has a Conkeldar. Why, why else would you make this play when you have a Conkeldor in the back? So I'm going to bring in my slow bro. If he's Scarfed, I sh he should not be able to tweet Kiyomi. Goes from Magma Storm, and that's most likely Scarf damage. And I'm just going to keep uh, slacking off here. Yeah, he's going for Magma Storm again, so he's most likely Scarfed. Looking at that damage, he's most likely Modest, I think. Yeah, I'll just keep slacking off. Um, he will run out of PP eventually, so he has to switch out. Now he brings in the Chansey. And that's completely fine. Because now I get to bring in my Gliscor. And 
and I activate the poison on, but he goes for the stealth rocks. Uh, that's fine. At this point, I think clicking Earthquake here is better. Because if I click Swords Dance and he switches into Conkeldor or, or Azumarill, then I'm forced to switch out. If I click Earthquake now while he switches out, I at least get damage off. So yeah, he does bring in a Conkeldor. And he takes Rocks plus Earthquake, so that's really nice for me. Yeah, see, if I click Swords Dance there, I wouldn't have been able to knock him out. And there's always a chance he might carry Ice Punch. So let's see. Could bring in my scissor, but then my scissor do does nothing against him. So I'll probably, probably slow, just hard slow bro is better. Because if he does have the ice punch, that means he will most likely not have knockoff. And there's no way he would click knockoff on Glyscore there. So he does go for the ice punch, and then his moveset is most likely uh, Drain Punch, Mark Punch, Facade, and Ice Punch. Um, so knowing this, he will, he will most likely switch out there. Because there's nothing this Conkeldor can do to my slow bro. So now I get the free skull off. And he lost his Rotom, so he has to go into his Chansey, which takes Stealth Rocks. But I might also burn the Chansey, which could be nice. While we don't get the burn off, it's fine, I'll bring in my Gliscord now. And same thing, uh, his Chansey cannot touch me if he stays in. Uh, I can attack. If he makes a double switch into a zoomer roll, that could be scary. But I still have my Alakazam in the back. But now he goes for the Seismic Dose. And now I actually want to Roost instead of Earthquaking. Because I kind of want to keep my Gliscor healthy. In case it needs to deal with the uh, Heatran. But your Garchomp comes out. And I'm... I know he cannot kill me, but I'm going raw. Uh, Slowbro, hard Slowbro. Because Slowbro has Ice Beam. And if he has Soy Dance, then Slowbro can at least live one hit. So he actually goes for the Dragon Claw, he turns out to be Life Orbed. And he cannot knock me out from there. He actually goes for the Poison Jab. He does poison me, but this should knock him out. And that's a dead Garchomp. Fortunately, he did poison my slow bro. But I'll take it, I'll take it. Now his Azumarill comes in. Okay. Um. Well, looking at his team now, I don't think I'm going to need my scissor because what is scissor gonna do to heatran what is scissor gonna do to chance this is a defensive scissor so it doesn't have sword stance and scissor is also not gonna do anything against uh conkelder so i might as well bring it in right now and see what kind of a zoomer roll this is so he does end up going for the belly trump and this is why we kept alakazam at full health because now i'm just going to sack my scissor he will most likely knock me out with the Aqua Jet, yes. Now I get the ring in my Alakazam. Psychic is probably not knocking him out from here, but I have counter. Phil, counter! It's seven deadly sins. <laughs> Man, sure. But yeah, he does go for Aqua Jet. Brings me down to the focus session. I knock him out with counter. My big boy, Alakazam, filling through. I'm always excited when Elikazam puts in work. <laughs> but yeah, now Conkelder comes in. And there's no way he's not clicking Mark Punch right there. Uh, but this Conkelder is still a big threat to my team. Because I don't think Gliscor knocks it out. I don't think um, Lucario knocks it out from this amount of health. So I need some burn turns. But what I'm going to do, since I'm confident that he will go for the Mark Punch, I am going to bring in my slow bro. Because I don't want to take unnecessary damage with Gliscor. Because Gliscor might need to live one Magma Storm from the Heatran. I'll bring in my slow bro. Let's see. It does go for the Mach Punch. And that's... That's one more burn turn. That's good. And yeah. Slow bro is going to die to Facade from here. So I have to switch out. Uh, I might as well sack my Alakazam right now. Because if his, if he, his uh, Heatran is Scarfed, which it most likely is, then he's going to outspeed my Alakazam anyway. Conkeldra has Mach Punch and Alakazam is not going to beat the Chansey. So I'll just take Alakazam. But honestly, I don't think he's in range yet for either Extreme Speed or Earthquake from my Gliscor. I 
I'll probably need one or two more burn turns. Let me cock this. Uh, yeah, Glasscore is not knocking it out. Lucara does even less damage with extreme speed. Oh man. You can still win, that's the thing. Conkeldor is such a big threat. Like if I had Alakazam at healthy, then it wouldn't have mattered. Because I needed it for the Azumarill. I think it's a threat. So I'm going to make some crazy play out of my ass. I'm going to bring in my Gliscor here. This kind of forces him to go for the ice for the for the ice punch. But I cannot take too much damage on Gliscor. I think after two stealth work turns, I should still be, be living um one magma storm from the Heatron. Because this is still especially defensive, Gliscor. So I'll bring in Gliscor. And we're gonna bring in Slow Bro right now. On the predicted Ice Punch. Come on. Psychic powers, let's go. Because Psy <laughs> he'll take... He'll take two burn turns. By making this play. Come on. Come on. Hit, click the ice punch. Come on. Okay, nice. Because if he clicked facade, I might have died if he... Maybe if he crit me and poisoned me. But now... Um, I'm actually going to click Scald here. Because at this point, Conkeldor is in range of extreme speed or earthquake. But he actually makes the Heatran play. Okay. So he gives me free damage on Heatran. Yeah, that's a lot. That's definitely an offensive Heatran. So I can just sex slower. He might even miss Magma Storm. Because he, he has to click Magma Storm. Otherwise, I bring in my Gliscor. Okay, he does knock me out with the Magma Storm. And now the moment of truth. I take the Stealth Rocks damage. But I I think I still live um, the Magma Storm. Unless he crits me. Don't crit me, please. Come on. Okay, Gliscor pulled through, we knock out the Heatran, and I should be healthy enough to live a Mach Punch. Maybe he can knock me out with the crit, I'm not sh I'm not sure, I'm not sure. But even if he knocks me out, I have Lucario on the back which can extremely con speed Conkeldor and close combat the Jancy. So I'm just gonna Earthquake this, he doesn't knock me out with Mach Punch, Conkeldor goes down and that is the game. Because there's no way Jancy is gonna beat my Gliscor. And <laughs> by any chance, if a miracle happens, whatever, and he knocks out my Gliscor, there's, I still have Lucario on the back, which destroys this Chansey. So I can just, I'm just going to Roost, play it safe. That's what Seismic does. Seismic does can also never crit me. So what I'm going to do is Sword Stance here. He actually goes for the Soft Boil. Which is fine. I'll just go for another sword stance. We'll basically seal the deal right here. Goes for seismic toes, and now I'll just click earthquake two times. Should be able to do it KO him. And yeah, that's definitely a do it KO. He goes for seismic toes, but now earthquake will seal the deal. And that is GG. So I hope you guys did enjoy this battle. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure to be part of the notification squad as well by clicking on that notification bell. And leave a comment down below. You guys know the drill. Also make sure you check out my Discord server. Uh, I usually I share what's going on in my life on there. And yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace out and I'll see you guys in the next video.